The weather forecast is sponsored by NEC Co-op Energy. Hey there, Coastal Bend. We had a absolutely gorgeous end to our week today. 77 right now, though it does feel just a tad warmer at 79 and our winds are still blowing out there easterly right at about 20 miles an hour. But I do expect those winds to calm down overnight and with increased moisture from the wind blowing off the Gulf of Mexico over the last day or so. That's going to lead to some areas of patchy fog as we go into tonight and tomorrow morning. But as we go into tomorrow, afternoon that fog clears out just except right along the coastline tonight as well. We will have those clouds continuing to build in, so it'll be cloudy overnight and we'll also throw in the chance for some very isolated showers, but those do clear out as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Now the clouds are going to be kind of hit and miss, especially towards the air show, but here in Corpus Christi, I think once those clouds are out of here in the afternoon, then they're going to be gone for the day other than a passing high cloud or two. Temperatures over the weekend are going to be pretty nice in the 80s, both Saturday and Sunday, with Sunday being more of a mix of clouds and sun compared to Saturday. So a little bit cloudier, maybe a little bit more limited on what the Blue Angels can do at the air show on Sunday rather than Saturday. Here's what our next big weather thing is. We're going to get pretty toasty as we go into next week. We'll have a dry line bring some drier air in similar to last week. And since drier air can heat up more, it's going to get pretty warm on Tuesday. If not hot, temperatures possibly in the low 90s. Behind that uh, dry line comes our next cold front on Wednesday. And this cold front looks to come at peak heating time of the day. So why is that important? Well, as we have peak heating, which is around noon when the sun is directly over us, and then we have this front come in here and it squishes the air that already makes us hotter. Combine it with peak heating and our temperatures are going to be even hotter than they were on Tuesday, approaching the mid and maybe even upper 90s for Wednesday. Once that front gets through here, though, winds uh, Thursday, my days are messed up. Uh, Thursday looks to be rather on the warm side in the 80s. So here's how that's going to go. Temperatures on the constant side for lows, but those higher temperatures warm as we go into mid next week, approaching the mid 90s. But then that cold front helps us drop back into the 80s and low temperatures behind that cold front. You may want to keep the jacket out. Lows going to be in the 50s after that. But tomorrow, just uh, shorts and a t-shirt and sunglasses will be uh, perfect for tomorrow. Going to start our day at 65 here in Corpus Christi tomorrow morning and work our way up a little bit warmer than we were today at 86 degrees. And if you're headed out to the beach for the weekend, not going to be a bad day, but you do need to be aware the UV index is going to be very high. So make sure you've got sunscreen and protective clothing on as well as the rip current risk is going to be high. So make sure you are paying attention to the water. If it's calm in one area with waves breaking around, it maybe don't go swim there, but the weather going to be absolutely gorgeous tomorrow with those clouds clearing out of here. Temperatures in the 80s over the next couple days, but then Mike, those temperatures are back on the increase by the beginning of next week. Yeah, we wondered when that was going to happen. All right, thank you for that, Kristen. We appreciate.